All right, so it says consider the following code segment. All right, so we have all these variables X and Y. So I'm gonna just write um, X and Y and just try to keep track of all their values. So initially it's three here and then negative one here. And then it goes, um, is X minus two? So this is gonna be one. I'm just going to put a one here. Is one greater than negative one? You would say, yes, that is. That's true. So it's going to do this. It's going to subtract off what Y is and then set it equal to four. So I'm sorry, set it equal to X, which is four. So it's going to be three minus what the Y is, which is negative one. So now your X is four. Okay. Um, and then you can look down here, X is not affected by anything else here. And it's going to print out X here. So right away, you know that it's between these two because X is four. Okay, you don't have to do it that way, but if you want, by all means. Okay, uh, then it says if y plus three, well, y is still negative one. So I'm just gonna put this as two, is, uh, is greater than or equal to x, or is it greater than or equal to x if this is four? No, so that means this does not get run. Okay, the computer doesn't even waste its time looking at it, to be honest. It skips right to the next part right here. So that's the fork in the road. It's checking this. If it's this, then do this. Otherwise, go to the next thing. It's going to the next thing. System printout, okay, so it's still printing out negative one here. So it's four and negative one. So the answer for that one would be D.